there YouTubers, thanks for tuning in. This is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I'm going to talk to you about, um, I've had several people request this. Um, when they click somewhere, especially if they have really tiny, squinty, hard to read uh, cells, they want it to highlight either the current row, current column, or both. So um, I have a proposed solution. Please check it out with me. Go ahead and hit Alt. Uh, well, first of all, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Uh, let me zoom in here. Um, if you click anywhere, it will highlight that particular row. And in this video, we'll show you how to do the column as well. So we're going to start on Sheet 2, and we'll start from scratch, hitting Alt F11. Just to be sure, we'll double click there. And we're going to start a worksheet event, so click that, and in fact it is a selection change. So here's what we're going to do to get started. We're going to want to get the row number, and uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, the well, let's, let's, oh goodness, where do we start? Uh, the best place to start, uh, if you're especially if you're new, is to record a new macro. So if you have the Developer tab, you'll see how to do that in one of my first videos on the Basic series. But click Record Macro, Macro, excuse me, and we're going to use a different color this time. So just for fun, let's see what the code looks like. I'm going to highlight row four, and we'll go to the Home Home Ribbon, and once we're going to make this uh, blue, and then. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to no fill and then let's go to the developer tab and stop recording hit alt F11 and back to the visual basic editor now let's check out our most recent macro in our module here you may have to expand your module by double clicking anyway um, all this stuff here we see is basically we selected row 4 and then within that selection, the, within the interior property of that selection, we all this stuff is is kind of boring. the The main theme that we got here is that this looks like it's very specific. That is a color. So either going to get the selection dot interior dot color equals something rather, or dot tint and shade equals something or rather. In this case, that is our very specific blue shade. Is this crazy decimal thing here? And then, whenever uh, it was cleared out, we see that the the pattern became equal to X L none. So that's what we're going to gleam from that. So when uh, let's go ahead and copy and paste this stuff here and we'll tweak it to our liking. Go back into Sheet 2 and paste using Control V. So we're not really wanting to select row 4 each time. We want to select whatever the the target dot row, whatever the row of that target is. So that's what we want to select. So rows and we're going to say target dot row that's the row that we want to select and let's see and actually maybe we don't even want to select it necessarily we just want it to the interior of that row uh, dot tint and shade to be whatever let's go ahead and copy this interior control X I'm actually gonna cut that let's see here dot interior dot tint and shade equals blah 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 control X I'm just gonna put it where I want it and I'll get rid of this other stuff here and we're not going to select row 4 um, next thing we want to do is well, let's just see what happens there I'm gonna go ahead and comment that part out let's just try this part I'm gonna put a stop marker right there to uh, just okay so I selected row 2 Target dot row is two, so we're going to say rows target dot row. So row two dot interior dot ten shade equals blah blah blah. Let's hit F8 to run that command, and let's see, did anything actually happen to row two? No, it didn't. Hmm. 
let's try something that's not that color then. Let's see. Let's record another one that was interesting. But maybe I needed to do more. Let's use one of the base colors. How about this uh, light blue or just blue? Okay, that's good enough. Stop recording. Okay, Alt F11, go to our module here. So this one actually has a dot color. Let's try that one. I'll control X to cut, and we will paste that here. The dot color equals that. So that's the color number for that blue. Let's try that. I'll click here, and it looks like we selected row 11. So rows 11 dot interior dot color equals that. So that whole row should yes when I hit F8. Sure enough it is. Now what do we do about the problem where when we select somewhere else it doesn't undo this blue right here. So pretty soon everything's going to be blue. So that could become a problem. So here's how we solve that. We say cells. Uh, like all the cells on that sheet dot interior dot uh, what was it dot pattern equals XL none just like we see here when we disabled it so basically we're telling it to on the current active sheet all of the cells like all, every cell in the whole worksheet dot interior dot pattern equals XL none. If I click here, let's stop it right there. If I click anywhere, so as I run this portion of the code, they all become cleared out, at least the background pattern, and then whichever selected row becomes that. And then let's copy and paste that, because we are also going to try that with the column. So we're going to say columns, and we want the target dot column dot interior colors blah blah blah. So let's try that. First bit of the code clears out everything. Whoops, I need to finish my sub here. I'm just going to hit F5. Uh, let me click there again. Click here. Okay, so clears out everything. This part does the row, and this one does the current column. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? Uh, so I'm going to undo all these, and now I'm just going to click around here. Now I'm going to use my mouse, or uh, now I'm going to use my up and down keys. So you see, it's highlighting exactly, pinpointing where I want to, I want to be there. Now I'm hitting Control up. Control down, control right, control left. Pretty cool. Click in here, click in there. All right. So and you can use different colors, of course. And the other one on the this worksheet, I'm using the color yellow. So let's take a look at that. And the color for yellow is six five five three five. I found that by doing a recording. So we could make the other sheet yellow by doing this. And let's go see that now in action using yellow. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So this is more realistic right here. As people commonly will use a, a smaller print, especially if they want something highlighted. I would probably opt out of using the uh, of using the columns. So I'm going to comment that part out and just uh, just use whatever row that I need so I can see it. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everybody.